lived there last night. The councilman who lives in Alton went around and asked every household in the town of Alton um, if they were for or against. And there's enough houses in Alton you can do that. Um, and of the 50 or so homes in Alton, one was opposed. One had a married couple where the husband was for and the wife was against. And every other one was for it. Why are they for it? Well, they're for it because it's high paying, steady, good jobs. And all their children have exported because there's no place to work in southern Utah. The quantities of kids in the school system is down 20% in the last 10 years. Now, one other thing I'd like to point out is that, I mean, we talk about dirty coal. The reality of dirty coal is it's the cheapest form of energy. In uh, the last two weeks, Ford has named Utah the number one state in the country to do business in. If you read that article in Ford, it says number one reason is because our energy cost is 31% less than the national average. Why is it 31% less? Because it's mostly coal. We have an abundant supply of high quality, low sulfur, high BQ coal. That's why we all benefit from that. Now that attracts businesses, that an educated workforce, high quality of life, low crime. That is what attracts businesses that are going to employ my children. Okay? So, and all of us benefit from low cost energy. And in the absence of that, the ones most hurt it, most hurt are the ones at the bottom end of the economic scale. People at the poverty level are paying 25 to 50 percent of their income for energy. If that cost of coal energy, which is currently six and a half cents a kilowatt hour, is turned to natural gas, it was nine cents a kilowatt hour. If it's turned to nuclear, it was 14 cents a kilowatt hour. If it goes to solar, and uh, wind power it goes to 21 cents a power, 21 cents a kilowatt hour. So, you know, we can have all the clean energy you want if you want to pay four times the price. Yeah, we are.